Woo! That baby raptor got real big, real fast. Today we're going to be continuing our looks at the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line as we have a look at Owen. Owen with Velociraptor Blue. Because of the fact I would consider Blue here as much a figure as Owen and not necessarily an accessory, and because I love Raptors, we're going to get the measurements going for both figures. Now if you've already seen a couple of these Owen reviews that I've done, you'll know that the figure itself is about 4 inches. They're a little on the smaller side, which is good if you are somebody that loves the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale line. As for Blue here, Blue's a little trickier to get dimensions for. I guess we will go from nose, the end of the nose, to the tail of the tip, the tip of the tail, uh, tongue twister. The, the toy itself for Blue is 8 inches in length. And I guess if you want to take the tallest point, that would be its tail as well, you're looking at about 5 inches. Let's look at Owen first. Now, we've already looked at a couple of Owens. This was the Owen that came with the Baby Blue. And this was the Owen that came with the <clears throat> dinosaur training uh, armor. They are pretty much identical to one another. In fact, he seems to share more similar traits to the armored up Owen. We'll go ahead and take the torso off so you can see there. There are the two figures. Now, first looks, I'm wondering if it's solely the, uh, the paint that's changing the looks of these figures. Unless they have given a new head sculpt, to the Owen that came with the larger blue here, because they do look like they are different from one another. This one seems like it's a little bit more of a skinnier head than this one here, but again, a lot of that, it could fool your eye. It could simply just be the paint swap, different, different ways that the paint's been applied to make the figure look so drastically different from one another. This one also has an arm guard, and I wanted to keep this guard on, thinking initially it was the same arm guard, but as you can see, they are very different from one another. They remove the exact same way, however, you're just simply pulling it off of the arm like so. This one's a little more trickier because it's got a more of a closed, uh, smaller uh, space to fit around the arms here. But the, uh, the figure's bodies are identical to one another. And I wanted to compare these two because they share similar colors, even though the legs, the pants, are closer to the one that came with Baby Blue. We even spin the figure around, it still has the holes on the back in which you can take the sheath of the knife and attach it back into place there, which we've done before. So really not a whole lot happening here that's too drastically different when it comes to the two Owens. You're still getting a really superposable figure in a smaller scale. I do want to stress again, not stress, stress is such a bad word, but the figures do feel light, which is not necessarily a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I do feel like the smaller three and three quarter inch line maybe didn't get as much the uh, deliberate intention that say the dinosaurs got. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be wanting to pick up the dinosaurs. That it's just nice that they have a side, essentially a side line where you've got the three and three quarter inch figures to kind of go along with those. They also kind of by virtue of that make the dinosaurs look bigger too because they've got something to compare it against. Uh, posability on this figure is exactly the same as the other two, so we can kind of go ahead and look at that. Head rotates all the way around. Shoulders, arms, bend at the elbow. I'm sure I can narrate what we're doing here, but you guys can see how much posability these guys have. Arms, torso rotates, legs split, pull back, bend at the knee, and lower leg. So pretty much not a whole lot different happening here. The Owen is pretty much what we're, we've gotten before. I think the cost, the price of admission is more so for Blue here. Now, Blue does have a gimmick, but I will say this, the gimmick doesn't ruin necessarily the figure, other than for the fact it does make the figure always kind of look like he's in a crouched position. You can't bring the legs further back. The whole gimmick of it, and actually is something we can talk about right now, the whole gimmick is you're supposed to pull the dinosaur down 
and a lot of that may be easier to accomplish with the uh, with the tail. But you're supposed to bring it down, and it's supposed to leap. It doesn't do the greatest of jobs doing that because there's nothing really you can hold on to the figure. You can kind of push him down and leap him this way, but there's no handle. There's nothing that you can really. I mean, you can pull it down from the tail, but then you're ultimately just kind of pushing the figure, the, the, the toy down, that it doesn't have as much the spring option that it would be advertised as. Um, essentially though, it, it is, it's supposed to be a leaping function. I suppose you can kind of pinch the legs together and spring it out, but it doesn't really do it what it's supposed to do, or at least at the very least what it's supposed to be advertised for. So if you exclude solely the gimmick, and you can overlook the fact that he's always kind of in a downward drop. It's actually a nice looking Raptor, especially when you have the head tipped up. It's a nice little display piece. And we can compare it to the baby, baby blue that we saw with the initial uh, Owen figure. There are similarities and then there's obviously differences. The larger one gets afforded, I think, much more paint. The head sculpt is fantastic. Almost to the point of looking at the figure, I keep wanting to say figure, the dinosaur, the, the head sculpt and the body sculpt is so good. I, for uh, several moments, forget that it has almost, I think, a ridiculous, unnecessary gimmick. They almost should have just branded this particular set as having a superposable version of blue and a little version, a smaller three and three quarter inch version of, uh, of Owen here. So again, let's get some close up looks at the face. The blue from first glance may appear only just to be the blue striping, but upon closer inspection, you can see that they put a lighter shade kind of outlining that blue that's running from the very top by its eyes all the way down to the tail. The tail is a separate piece, but it doesn't actually detach. There's just this big sharp line that's kind of cut through it where you see like one end would have likely been just attached to the other. Uh, it's comprised mostly of a denser plastic, like a denser rubbery plastic. It's a little softer, it gets in the tail, considerably softer when he starts looking at the arms. The arms are very soft, very pliable. The legs are uh, a little bit denser by contrast. Uh, I wish that they had painted in the nails. I mean, that's something I could easily just go in and do with a marker, but feel necessary to, to point that out. They did paint, however, the, the actual claws, the the nails in the claws there, they painted not quite black, but almost more closer to like a greenish gray beige. It does also have the little scannable marking on the underside, which we will look at on the app in a second. I love the head sculpt though. That is such a great looking head sculpt. It's, almost, it's like it's looking right at you. It's looking right at you. And of course, we can't forget the fact that it does have an open mouth gone in and completely painted in the tongue as well as the individual teeth. It's not so close to being individual teeth that they are sculpted all together, but at the very least I'm glad that they painted those in. Okay, so let's look at the posability here on blue. It's not as limited as one would believe a figure would be that has, again, an unnecessary gimmick if you ask me. Head rotates all the way around, hinges up and down. We've already discussed the fact that his mouth does open and close. Arms rotate all the way around. And legs, if you want to count the fact that they do, they do have the gimmick going for it, the legs also do have a hinge. Again, it just doesn't seem to make any sense whatsoever why they would incorporate this gimmick. At the very least, you know what they actually should have done if they had to put this gimmick in place? I'm surprised that they didn't have the gimmick working the opposite way. There's a, there's a lot less, uh, well, there's a lot less working with you by doing it this way. If you could have just done it by the tail and bent the, the dinosaur back and somehow let it go and it could spring, this way it just doesn't seem like it helps you all that much at all. So let's find out a little bit more about the dinosaur. I'm opening up my Jurassic World uh, app, which I just installed not too long ago. I've already gotten one other dinosaur since we've talked last, and that's the Pachycephalosaurus. Again, I kind of wish you could do more with these. Unfortunately, uh, you're just kind of looking at them than anything else. But we're going to go back. There's my collection so far. I'm going to go into Scan. And 
I'm going to do, I'm just going to scan the dinosaur's foot here, which so happens to be a little trickier to do with this specific light source, but success has been provided me. And here we have the, the Velociraptor, specifically blue. Now we can go in and we can select the different did you knows. Two are unlocked. It looks like three are accessible. We'll click on this one. In the film, she hunts larger dinosaurs, which actually I've mentioned a couple of times, uh, blue being a, a male. Um, also here, an adult weighs 130 pounds, about the size of an average person. And in the film, she communicates with her pack using an array of different calls. Again, called her a male a couple of times. Now, there are a couple of unlockables, uh, which we will need points to unlock. It will beg the question, though, because we're going to have a look at a couple more blues from the Jurassic World movie. I'm wondering if it's going to give us variations to different Velociraptor Blue on the app, or if you only have a one and one time only use to unlock uh, a blue. So if, say, for example, if we already unlocked her on the app, if we get any other blues, it's going to basically already have this one unlocked, so it, it won't do anything. A rather nice pickup here is Owen and Velociraptor Blue. Oh, and I would have thought initially was just a add-on pack-in, but it does seem like he's a little bit different in head sculpt than the Owens that we already had a look at. I can't tell whether that this is simply a case that they've retooled a brand new head sculpt, or if paint is what's making him so look drastically different than the other Owens that we had a look at already. Uh, really, I think the reasoning for getting this set is Velociraptor Blue. Even though I called him him in this video, it's actually a she, Velociraptor Blue's got some nice detailing. And just if you wanted a raptor, I think this is one of the better ways to go. It's a shame, though, that she does have a gimmick going for her. Luckily, it's not a gimmick that ruins the toy. It's something that if you just looked at it, you would never know that she has a leaping ability. And I have to say that the leaping ability just doesn't work all that well on the figure. Try as I might to push her down and push her legs in to get her that spring up action. It just simply didn't work very, very well on this particular figure. And I think if anything, maybe should, they should have considered angling the feet the opposite way, or at least the gimmick having it the opposite way. So you could have almost pushed down the tail, have it tilt backwards instead of forward and maybe that could have had the raptor springing uh, ultimately though with the gimmick scratched i think it's a nice two-pack to pick up if you want to get yourself just an owen and just a velociraptor blue there's other blues also being released under the jurassic park fallen kingdom line but this is a nice one because it's got a good size blue and it's got an owen to go with it that's in the right proper scale uh, these are currently now available in most toy stores and retail stores if you're interested in picking this up for yourself. We're going to do some more of these Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom reviews leading up to the big release of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom in theaters. Today, though, in the meantime, we were having a look at the Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Velociraptor Blue and Owen. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, guys. More videos will be coming your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.